Hello, thanks for watching this video. Let me shortly introduce our work. So the problem we are focusing in this work is called the phone recognition problem. The problem is there are around 2000 different phones in different language. However, only around 200 or 300 phones are covered in the high resource training language like English and Mandarin. So our problem here is how can we learn the remaining phones even if we haven't seen them before? And our solution here in this work is, is we can decompose each phone into its attributes. The attributes are called the articulatory features or phonological features. And these are features well defined in the phonetics and phonologies. And we can learn the shared attributes instead of the phone themselves. For example, if we have a phone A, uh, we can decompose this phone into open, front, unrounded, vowel. Well, these are four different attributes characterizing these phones. And a good point about using attributes instead of phone is that there are only around 25 well-defined attributes shared by all our phones. So even for an unseen phone, we can learn its representations through the shared attributes. We are using some embedding to, sh to represent those attributes. Here is our architecture. As you can see, we have some attributes embedding here, and we then use those attributes embedding to compute the phone embeddings. And about our experiment results, we compared our model with two different baseline models using 47 different testing language. And uh, we are comparing them using PER phone error rate. And uh, as you can see, we have 51% phone error rate. These are much better than the uh, other two baseline models here. And here's the plotting of uh, our phone embeddings. And we can find a lot of interesting uh, word to vec like relations here, like K and G, P and B, Ch and J pairs. These are unvoiced voiced pairs. And there are also some other interesting properties here. And that's my short introduction into this work. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and we hope we can see you in the interspeech presentation. Thank you very much. Bye.